Hey guys, it's Keith from Anth Publishing. Uh, I wanted to shoot a quick video um, about the differences between uh, a Facebook boost, uh, boosted post and a Facebook ad. Um, the reason this is coming up is I've recently started using um, a software called Dark Post Engine. Uh, and what it does, just quickly, is uh, it basically goes out, a dark post, in case you don't know what that means, uh, is something that's basically hidden from any fan page or any uh, any news feed. And essentially, that would be a Facebook ad. Those are all, unless they're running, you really can't, there's no way for you to find them. Okay, so what this software does is based on a fan page, so, you know, some authority in my niche, um, I can enter in that fan page into the software and it'll basically bring back all of the Facebook ad uh, ads that they've run in the past. Now, you'd want to do this for a, really a, you know, a number of reasons. I mainly do it for the research. I want to see uh, how they're forming their ads, what their copy looks like, what text they're using. Uh, I want to see if they've done, you know, tests, uh, any A-B testing. Uh, a lot of times I'll pull back, uh, you know, some some ads and I'll find, you know, three or four, you know, exactly the same, but just, you know, a, not exactly the same, but uh, very similar, promoting the exact same thing, but they've just tweaked the text or tweaked the, tweaked the image. Um, and it'll also show me the engagement on on those particular ads, so I can see which ones work best, um, and kind of you know you know mirror my message you know after you know after the way they they've kind of done it. Have they used short copy, long copy? Um, you know what is the message? What is the angle? Uh, what's the tone? Um, so it, it just it, it's really really great uh, research tool. So anyway. Um, as I started to use this and promote this product, uh, I started to get a lot of questions. Um, the, the first being really is what's the difference between a boosted post and a Facebook ad? So I thought I'd shoot just a quick video and kind of uh, walk through that a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and shift over here to my browser. Okay. <clears throat> now, this is my fan page, okay, so or my business page, and what you'll see is we have a um, a post here, okay. So now if I click boost post, uh, you'll see it's going to pull up a little uh, a little modal here. Now the main difference, just just so you're aware, is it, it really depends on your objective as far as which one you're going to use. Are you going to you know boost a post or are you going to do a traditional Facebook ad? Now, uh, for boosted posts, really your, your objective is going to be engagement. Okay, you're going to either want comments, shares, likes. Um, you know, that's pretty much pretty much what you're what you're going to get. Okay, that that you'd want to boost a post if that's what your objective is. Now, if your objective is to make a sale, make a conversion of some sort, if you're leading to a landing page for you know a free report or or you know whatever that may be, um, a Facebook ad is probably going to be more more like it. And there's a couple reasons why, and I'll I'll just show you here as I kind of walk through, um, you know, the interfaces for each. Uh, now I'm not going to get real in depth here as far as how you set up these these two things. I just want to show you some of the main differences. Um, you know, Facebook ads can get quite uh, intensive and there's a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of data there that you know that you you, you may need to learn. So, I'm just going to keep it keep it light and just kind of show the main differences. So, uh, with this uh, this is a boost. So, like you can see here, it's it's people who like your page, so it's basically going to only display to those those folks there. Um, people who like your page and their friends, or you can choose uh, through targeting. Now, what that means is that you can you can basically create custom uh, audiences, okay, in Facebook ads and in, in the ad manager. Um, uh, I've gone ahead and, and I've created a few in the past. These, these are basically all people that have visited my website based on my retargeting pixel from Facebook, okay. So every time somebody hits my website, it registers in Facebook and basically um, populates this particular audience um, with those people. From there, I can create a lookalike audience, which will uh, expand that audience number. Um, you know, and make it make it much larger um, uh, for people that are, are have similar likes and interests as the people that have visited my pages, so that I can then later uh, promote to them. Okay or advertise to them. All right, so I can I can choose that. Uh, here I can choose a budget. Uh, it'll show me my estimated people uh, that, that uh, I can reach, the duration, you know, and run this ad. Um, there's that pixel I was talking about. And then simple payment, okay? So now one of the big differences, you'll see here there's a like, there's a like button, there's the comment, uh, and share. Now, there are no um, call to actions uh, for boosted posts. You cannot schedule it. Um, it's just pretty much, you know, you, you just go. Um, you cannot target by behavior. You cannot target by language. You can only target by interest, age, gender, uh, and location. 
um, that's it for for a for a boosted post. Now for an ad, um, you can do optimized bidding. You can also have it display on uh, Instagram. Um, you can have it show up on the right side. You know when you're on your news feed, there's those right side ads. Boosted posts cannot. Boosted posts can only be shown on the mobile feed and the no, and the news feed. As you'll see here, it gives you the two different views, um, and that's the only place that that's that's gonna that it's gonna display. Okay, um, so as you can see, it's it's limited. It's just very limited as to as to what you can you know what you can do with these. So again, totally depending on on object on, on your objective. Now the ads manager, uh, I've pulled up just uh, an ad here. As you'll see, uh, again, some of it is similar. You have your custom audiences that you can choose from. Okay, just like I had before. Um, you can also um, choose by location, uh, your age ranges, your genders, languages, uh, more detailed. Uh, you can create rules here uh, around uh, detailed, you know, interests um, through connections. Um, you can also see, as you can see, you can uh, decide which placements you'd like them in. Um, so you have a lot more choices here. With Boost, you don't. You don't have a choice. They're going to go to um, Boost. They're going to go to just uh, desktop and. Uh, the mobile f news feed. Okay, so you're gonna have a lot more, a lot more choices there. Um, you can also do budget and scheduling. Um, you you can get much more uh, in depth with that with with uh, with Facebook ads. Um, you can uh, let's see here. What else do we have? Your delivery types, uh, your bid amounts. You can do it automatic or manual. So as you see, there's just there's just more options with with Facebook ads. Um, you know, so uh, essentially, you know, one of the big ones too, also being when you when you go to your actual ad. <clears throat> Let's just see here. I'll pull this up because this is just generic now. Um, but you're going to see, you're going to be able to, uh, you know, change your headline. Um, so you're going to see Welcome to Amped is there, your descriptions. Uh, you know, you have a lot more uh, to work with here than you do with just a simple simple boost. Okay, so in the, in the end, uh, it really just comes down to, you know, what's your objective? Uh, if you're just looking for a, a simple boost in likes and engagement, then stick with the, the page boost. And you can do these things for as, as low as a dollar a day. Um, so it's not like you need to be spending, you know, tons and tons of money. And actually, now that I say that, uh, there's a good tip out there is... Don't spend a lot of money on that first day. Um, it usually takes Facebook 24, sometimes up to 48 hours, usually 24 hours, um, to really start to optimize your ad and figure out who's it's gonna, who it's, who's, uh, who to display it to. Now, even though you've set up all your targeting, um, you know there's still parameters where it's gonna go outside of those, you know, of of the interests and things that you've and the audience that you've set up. Um, so give it a day, you know, boost it down to, you know, five dollars, you know, just just uh, run that for the first 24 hours, see which ones, uh, what how, what kind of traction you're getting on it. Um, you know, and especially if, if you're A-B testing, which you should be testing multiple images, um, you know, different text if you can. Again, this is for Facebook ads. Um, boosted posts, you don't have a choice. It's you're simply going to, you might be able to actually put um, uh, multiple images, but you can't have different ad sets like you can in, in Facebook ads. Um, so you should be testing. So again, just keep that that uh, monetary spend low that first 24 hours and then you can kind of boost it up because Facebook will then uh, by then have you know kind of optimize it a little bit better um, and get it in front of the people that really are going to start to interact with it and not waste some of that budget on on that first 24 hours um, so you know really that's that's the main differences between between the two um, so it really just depends on objective and uh, I hope you got something out of that uh, if you like what you heard you go ahead and subscribe uh, also if you are interested in anything like the dark post engine I'll throw some links at the bottom of a couple of other resources that I use for Facebook advertising. Uh, especially, there's a really good good course if you really want to get into uh, learning uh, the ins and outs of Facebook ads. Um, I'll throw those links down there for you guys. Um, and that's about it. So thanks for joining me.